play one. The vibes of I'm Vegas. We can explain that it was a mistake, isn't it? I'm sorry. We're tired of staying here. We want to go back to our parents' home. I'm sorry, my dear. Your request is not granted. <laughs> Did I hear you say you want to go home? No, no. No, I heard you say you want to go home. No, no. No, but you said you want to go home. No, no. no. Stand up and go home. No. I said stand up and go home. You still want to go home, huh? You still want to go home. You want to go home. You want to, you want to go home. Eh? You want to go home. You want to go home, you? You want to go home. Eh? You want to go home. Get out of here, man. Fuck it, man. You want to go home. This is home. Do you understand me? Do you understand me? This is home. This is your new home. Get out of here. Get out of here, new home. No, no, so na as na day na money na be five million each. What are you looking at? What are you looking at? Look at my my kudos. I know, Mama, but I just feel I need to do something. You know, keep myself busy. Sitting at home from morning to night is not helping matters. Anything. 
You see, but I don't want you to work. You have everything. And I'm even ready to give you more. But I've I just want to wake up in the morning, go somewhere, and then come home. I feel very useless, and I don't, I don't like the feeling. Guess what? Maybe you, you want to take a trip? Go to Turkey, Paris, Milan, New York, shop, you know? Just have fun and come back home. Well, I can do that. I can shop, come back, open a shop, put the things in there, and sell. That is something. Listen, I don't want you to. I don't want my daughter-in-law to work. You, I, I, you need to take everything Michael is giving you and get pregnant again. Linda. <laughs> Linda. How, how are you? Okay. Right on age. Um, how has it been? Hello, excuse me. Excuse me, please. Yeah? What? What you want? I just wanted to say hello to my baby girl. Excuse me? After that night at the club, I didn't get to hear from you again. What happened? No, you have the wrong person. My name is not Linda. Oh, oh come on. <laughs> no playing of any games this hey. time around. What are you talking about? I'm not Linda. Hello, listen up here. Listen up! Yes, ma'am. Why are you talking to her? That's my girl. Do you know her? Of course, I do. That's my girl. Your girl? Yeah, at the club. This is my daughter-in-law. Daughter-in-law? Yes, my daughter-in-law. In any case, if she is your daughter-in-law here, I guess I'll be seeing her at the club. Linda, excuse me. Do you know him? No, never. But he knows you. Well, you know, he doesn't know me. I don't know him. My name is not Linda. I don't think so. Why did why did he come to you? Why did why didn't he go there? Why didn't he go to someone I don't else? Know. He's probably drunk or something. That man does not know me. I don't know him at least. He doesn't look drunk to me. He looked very sober and sane. Uh I don't know him, Mama. You have to believe me. I don't go to the club. My name is not Linda. He has the wrong person, obviously. Evelyn! You mean with everything I've done for you? With everything Michael's given you? You, you dare to cheat on my son? No! Why would I cheat on you? No! I don't know that. Shut up! He knows you! You've been hanging on nightclubs. Mama, look, I think you're overreacting. Now you listen to me, Lynn. If you think that with everything, everything we've done for you, that you can cheat on my son, then you've got another thinking coming to you. Mom, 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 what, what, what's wrong? Where are you going to? Ask her. Mother, you're angry and you're leaving. Why? Ask her why I'm leaving, okay? Ask her why I'm leaving. But why are you leaving? Mom, wait, wait. Oh, Jesus, baby. What just happened? Why is she angry? Uh, some lunatic walked up to me, started calling me Linda, pretended to know me. In fact, he pretended we were intimate. And Mama believed him. Uh, I don't understand. You mean that just happened right now? Now. She's overreacting. I don't know the man. Uh, but, are, are you sure you don't know him? Are you mad for asking me that kind of question? How would I be intimate with another man? Why should Mama get over... I don't know. That's over, what I'm saying. She's overreacting. Say? I don't like this. Let's just pack and leave, okay? Uh, baby! Mary! Come over, baby. Let's go. Yeah, come, come, come.
得意过。妈，妈妈 ，I think you misunderstood everything. That man was just. I don't want to hear anything. I've heard enough to know all I need to know. Mommy, look, I promise you, I don't know that man from Adam. I've never seen him before. Maybe he was just trying to stir trouble. Please don't let him. Yes, I think he's, he's just a drunk or something. Look, I promise you. Listen to me, young lady. It is enough that I've tolerated your inability to give me a grandson. But for you to now cheat on my son, under my very nose is unacceptable. I did not cheat you on must you. leave this house. Honey, I will never cheat on you. You know that. Mom, mom, listen, mom. There are better ways to handle this. Okay? Things are not as bad as... Michael! Michael, I am your mother. And it is my duty to save you even from yourself. Wait, Mom, just hold on. Listen. Mom. You know, I wish I had the heart. I would actually walk out of this marriage. Don't say that. Don't say that. I believe you. I should be. She's fine. <sighs> you hardly bring that girl to come and see me, and I don't like it. Uh, Mommy, huh? I'm sorry, but it's not my fault, honestly. Her grandmother hardly even lets me take her anywhere but school. How do you mean? She's grown some kind of bond with Mary overnight. I can't understand. I just hope she's not turning my daughter against me, Mommy. <laughs> Don't let that bother you, my dear. Just see it as one of those challenges of life, okay? Mommy, this challenge is becoming a bit too much for me. Honestly, the way things are going, I'm beginning to doubt if there's going to be a light at the end of this tunnel. I know what you're going through in your matrimonial home. And that is why I've not relented in my prayers that God should give you a son. But am I the only one who does not have a son? Am I the only one who has a girl for an only child? Why is she being so hard on me? Why? I mean, I try my possible best to impress that woman. There's nothing I don't do. And just when I think, you know, I have her in a good position, she'll find some other trouble to make. Huh? Has there been another problem? Well, over the weekend we went for a picnic. Everything was going on smoothly. At least until some man walked up to me and claimed to have known me, mommy. I'm telling you, he gave off the impression that I was some kind of mistress to him. I couldn't understand. And I swear to you, I didn't know him. Oh, but trust mama, she jumped right at it. She did. My daughter, you know that woman never really supported your marriage to her son. She just wants to capitalize on that so that she could push you out. 
But I still believe that your husband loves you. Mm -hmm. But for her to actually want to believe that I cheated on her or her son, it, it, to me it's evil. It's, it's just downright evil. I know. But marriage is not bed of roses. You should know that by now. I know. I, mean, I actually don't know how much more I can take. Really. With the way things are going, I'm afraid I might just call this whole thing quits, really. You won't do anything like that, Evelyn. I'm sorry, Mommy, but she's making my life unbearable. She is. But what is your husband's stance? My dear Michael, I actually don't know how much more he can take, how much longer he can withstand her. You may have nobody, but I know that the God that I serve will surely fight for you. Do it. This is why I'm going for evening service. I need all the prayers I can get. Don't worry, everything will be fine. Let me get a glass of water. Yeah. Where is uh, Joy? Uh, I think she should be in the kitchen. Joy!
for paper. Why not spend the night? I want you around. Don't be like spending it. Now you're welcome. Pay me my money, please. I don't want to pass. I want you around. Sorry, you're not my only client. I get work to do. Okay. Okay. Thanks. Yeah, have it. Ten thousand naira. Thank you. I charge you only five. It's my little way of acknowledging your good performance in bed. You did me very good. Ah, uh, look, I'm not a charity case. So no, never mind. It's just a token. I appreciate all you did. You were damn good. All right. Thank you very much. Thank you. Don't you have anything else to do except watch TV? I don't understand. <laughs> you can never understand. Your peers are out there nursing children. And you are here watching TV. You should be ashamed of yourself. Mama, you started again. You have started again. Can I not have a minute of peace in this house, can't I? No, you can't. You won't have any peace in this house until you give my son a break. Because two men cannot continue to live under the same roof. Oh, so now I have become a man. I mean... What else did you think you were in the first place? I mean, why, why can't you do what all women do? Only God knows what you've done with your womb. You're barren, aren't you? I have done nothing with my womb, Mama. And Mary is a proof of that. Michael and I have been through a series of tests and it's been confirmed severally that I'm medically sound. And how do I know? Your so-called medical reports are not the results of your clever manipulations. Please, Mama, don't be ridiculous. How can I manipulate the same doctors you pay? Then, why don't you give me grandchildren? Why can't you give me grandchildren if the results of your so-called medical reports are true? Because God is the giver of children, Mama. And only he determines their sexes. Oh, please. That is the absolute comfort of the distressed woman. And I am not interested in that. All I want from you is that you give me grandsons. Evelyn, give me grandsons. Anyway. Have you gone to pick Mary up from school yet? Yeah. No. And why? Because it's just past 12. Mary closes at 2. Are you perhaps insinuating that I have lost my sense of time or what? No, Mama. I'm just saying it's not time to pick Mary up yet. So, how do you intend to beat the traffic? Or you intend? For her to get stranded in school after school has dismissed? Mama, I know what time to leave and pick my daughter from school. I am her mother. She is my responsibility. 
And whether you and I like it or not, she is all I have got. Indeed. She's all you've got. Huh? Tell me about it. Patrick, uh -huh. I work for an international syndicate. I met you at the club. Remember me? No. I introduced you to my boss. Oh. So, what do you want? What do I want? When my boss wants to see you. Your boss. <sighs> uh, what does your boss want to see me for? And who is this your boss anyway? He's the head of the syndicate I talked to you about. And as for the letter question, he feels you are perfect for what he wants. Uh, wait, how did you even find me? That you met me at the club does not give you the right to know where I live. Don't! Don't tell me you've been trailing me since then. I have been trailing you. Yes. You see, my investigations came out with nothing about you. You are untraceable. That's why we need you. Now, let me ask you. What makes you think, even for a second, that I'll be interested in whatever sick, immoral proposition you people have for me? The offer is mouth watering, my dear. I know you can do better in a more comfortable apartment than this. Uh... Hey, 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 my friend. Don't come to my house and insult me. You understand? No insult me at all. You can't come into my house and insult me. You know what's in short, eh? Go and tell your boss, whatever it is he calls himself. Tell him I am not interested. Okay? Go. Temper, temper. I wouldn't say that if I were you. My boss is not someone you will eat his money and get away with it. This is my curb. Call me.
How's it done? Grandma, my mother won't help me with my homework. I am afraid she's in a bad frame of mind. What is wrong with her? I don't know, but she's crying. Sweetheart, if your homework is the problem, don't worry. I'll help you with it, okay? But as for your mother, leave her, let her cry all she wants. Grandma, why? What has she done wrong? <coughs> Sweetheart, she's done more than everything wrong. I didn't want to discuss this with you. But as it is, I don't have a choice because my heart is heavy. Sweetheart, wouldn't you like your mother to give you a little brother? Yes, Grandma, I love my mother to give me a little brother. There you are. See? But your mother has simply refused to give you a little brother. Why, Grandma? I don't know. Anytime I try discussing it with her, she just busts into crocodile tears. I don't know why she's always trying to attract undue attention to herself. Grandma, maybe we should pray for her together. Pray for her? <sighs> never mind, sweetheart. I never really expected you to understand. Alright, go and get your books. Let me help you with your homework, okay? Okay, Grandma. Look, that I have agreed to go with you. It's not a guarantee that I've accepted whatever proposition you people have. Sure, you know, there's a full inning. Whatever you say. Shall we go now, please? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shopping, you yeah, we should definitely go shopping. But you know, I've been busy these days. That is what you always say. Oh, yeah. I'm busy. I need to make some more money so that we can go shopping and do things. Because if I don't have money, you girls will run away from me. Well, I forgot to tell you that this is one of our simple protocols, my bad. Proto, wait. Let me see your bag. Wait, I want to put inside this small bag where you see so. I said, give me your bag, let me see. Look, touch my watch is like a mad. Pat, who is she? June, I forgot to tell you that this young man is easily provoked. Mm, I don't care. I don't. If you touch me, I slap you. Me and you go down here. Now, now, now. Come on, there. Come back here. Fine, Jim. Shit. How much is 
yourself, boss. Oh, yeah. Patrick? Ghost? That's good. Welcome to my house. Thank you. Would you like to have something to drink? No. Mm -hmm. Sit down. Sit down. You know, the last time I saw you in the club, and I liked what I saw, ever since I've not stopped thinking about you. Hmm. Okay, I'm here. So, what do you want from me? <laughs> if I should tell you what I want from you, you might not understand, but actually, um, I think you can make a very good uh, Agent for the kind of job that I do. You see? Mm hmm. Okay, I will not pretend like I don't know what we are talking about, but. Um, may I? Go ahead. At the same time, you have to explain to me how this thing works. Beautiful, that's good. That's good. In fact, you see? I like my agents very tough and rugged. And that's the kind of CV that's gotten you the job. <laughs> Ejo, Marco Babi, I have not accepted your job. Hmm? Oh, you will accept it. Definitely. Because my offers are very, very juicy and no one rejects them. Please, are those ones your agents too? Those girls are my pawns on my chessboard. Meaning? Never mind. They're my good friends. So. Okay. Eh, my soul, I'm all ears. Good. I want us. Before you freshen up, um, you've been in my business empire for quite a while now, and uh, in the last three months, I haven't seen a single report. How are you running the empire? Oh, uh, mom. Uh, well, mother, business is thriving tremendously. Oh, really? You have nothing to worry about. Everything is under control. I'm sorry about the report. I've been so occupied with the new CD duplicating machine company that we are trying to set up. I assure you that um, in two weeks, you'll have the report on your desk. Okay? Well, what exactly is the... Uh, that what development stage is the duplicating plant right now? What's really going on? Uh, well, Mom, we're at the final stage now. Installation of equipment is going on, and uh, in less than two weeks, production will commence. Hmm. Yes. That's quite commendable. Thank you. Thank you very much. Really, really commendable. <laughs> I must really commend you, Michael. You've been doing excellently well running my business empire successfully. Well, uh, Mother, what can I say? I have your blood in my system. So I have no choice but to do good. Right. Thank you. But um, I was just thinking, a successfully run business empire without sons to inherit it is a bloody waste of time, don't you think? 
Mom, you know, most times I, I wonder if you've forgotten that I've got a child. Mother, I have a daughter. Oh, for crying out loud, I'm talking about sons here. Mom, what is wrong with a daughter? After all, you're a woman. Don't you dare insult me. I'm sorry, okay? I'm, I'm sorry. I, all I'm trying to say, Mama, is that children are gifts for Michael! Me. I want you to take another wife, period. What? Another wife? What for, mother? I mean, I'm, I'm still married to my wife and, and I love her, so what do I need another wife for? What's wrong with you, Michael? Nothing is wrong with me, mother. What is wrong with you? Nothing. Mother, all I'm trying to say is that I'm still married to my wife. Now listen to me, Michael. And you listen. I have never been hard on you. But this time around, I want you to realize that on this issue, my stand is resolute. You must take another wife. Okay. All right. Okay, Mom. All right. And Michael? I hope you do realize I am not joking here. Michael, that woman doesn't love you. She's cheating on you. She's not the same that you think she is. Remember? The issue of the man at the park? Mother, no, 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 don't, don't even go there, okay? I've, I've asked her about this same issue and, and she said she doesn't know the man from Adam. And I believe her. Oh, for crying out loud, for goodness sake, I will steal my son. You know, if I'm finally disgraced and thrown out of this house, let me just pack my things and my dignity out. I'm not going to shed a tear. What are you talking about? If you, who wants to throw you out? Don't pretend like you don't know what I'm talking about. Honestly, I don't. Just, just stop. Stop. Okay, just stop it. What is it? Me, baby. I overheard you and your mother. Michael. So she's finally convinced you to take another wife, Abby. You heard us? Uh. Yes. But did you didn't tell you I was taking another wife. I heard you say yes to her. I heard you. Oh, Eve. Oh, no. Just come off it, okay? It was just to shut her up. Believe me, I, I just want her to drop her tantrums. Baby, I didn't mean it. No. I didn't mean it. What have I done? 
John, what have I done to that woman? What have I done to your mother? Why does she hate me so much? What have I done to deserve this kind of treatment? What? I don't know. I, I just don't know. But I think this whole thing is all about her business empire. Oh, God. I don't care about the business empire. I didn't marry you because of the business empire. I married you because I love you. I love you. Baby, I love you too. I love you too. Okay, it's all right. I'm sorry. It's just that she doesn't know. She doesn't know this. <laughs> It's not my fault. I can't have another child. I am trying, Michael. I am trying. I understand. I understand. I understand. I understand. I'm, I'm patient. When the time is right, you will give me lovely songs. I know. Take care of yourself. I'll come back time tomorrow. Okay. Hey, Regina, how are you? I'm fine. I'm still around. Yes, I'm almost through, but I'll let me just pick okay. up. Some. See you tomorrow. Right. Good night. But you refuse. That's why you're crying. Now, why in God's name will your grandma discuss such a thing with you? Mom, is it true that you don't want to bear me a little brother? No, no. Mary, I can't be discussing these kind of things. You're too young. Just do your homework. Mom, you don't know that I'm always lonely because I don't have a brother or a sister to play with. gift from God and we are eternally grateful to him but we need to wait until it's his time to give us another gift in form of a brother or a sister okay amen It is too much. Ah, must they handle those children like that? Forget about it. Is that all you have to say? 
Look, my friend, you might have children of your own. That's not how to treat them. Julian, you got a problem. And your problem is you talk too much. Here, you count your words before you say them. Understood? doing and when I saw your test. So, uh, you sounded like there was a problem. Problem? Of course not. You've done great, my son. You've done so wonderful. So wonderfully. I mean, I'm sorry. I didn't want to take you away from your duties, but the joy in my heart was so great, so large. I mean, I'm so happy. I just couldn't wait. I couldn't wait for you to come back later in the evening to just bust it to you and tell you all about it. Really? Mm-hmm. So what could be making my mother so happy? God. God has answered my prayers. He's answered my prayers. He's given me what I've been searching for. His given me exactly what I want. Prayers? Mm -hmm. Mama, you're killing me with apprehension. Okay, all right. Let the cat out of the bag. Oh, yeah? Oh, yeah. All right, then. In that case, I present your wife. 
Emanuela. Michael, her name is Emanuela. Emanuela, this is my son Michael I've been telling you about. Hello, Michael. What wife? Mom, if if this is a joke, please stop. Just stop. Of course not. How could you possibly think that I would joke about an issue as sensitive as your wife's inability to give you more kids? I mean, I, I couldn't wait for, for you to come back because I, I felt you should meet her very quickly and both of you get acquainted in no time. I mean, look at her. Look at her. Mom, I, I did not ask you to pick a wife for me. Oh, come on, relax, son. Relax. Relax. She comes from a disciplined family. Excellent pedigree. She's well-read also. And she's pretty into the bargain. And she's well endowed to give us grandsons. Oh, come on. Come on, in no time you get along with her. Well, Mom, um, if this is why you invited me, I'm very sorry to disappoint you. Come back here, Michael! Where do you think you're going? Michael, you should be happy that you have an opportunity to make your mother happy. Michael, you should be happy that you have an opportunity to give me grandsons. Mother, I did not ask you to pick a second wife for me. I still love my wife, for God's sake. Why are you doing this? And, and, and you, uh, what, what, what do you call yourself? Uh, Her name is Emanuela. Emanuela, listen. I don't know what my mother told you, but believe it. I am married. I love my wife and I'm not ready to stick a second wife. Do you get that? Please, just go out there. There are thousand and one men that will be willing to take you as a wife. Don't come here and cause problems. Michael! Okay? How dare you insult me? I should be the one flexing muscles over agreeing to marry a man. I don't know. Please, just relax. Take it easy, Manuela, please. please. Look, young lady, if you feel you've got yourself a husband, then you must be swimming in an endless ocean of illusion. America. What the heck? I'm leaving. I can't mm -hmm. do this. No, 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 Iwanola, please. Please, you, you, you don't be angry. Mother, please, please. Don't my, my son has been under a lot of pressure. I can't do this. He's, He's been through a lot of pressure. Excuse me. Iwanola. I swear I am so disappointed in you. How could you do this to me? And I am doubly disappointed in you. Will you get out of my sight? Nonsense. Sure, you pay into my account and your consignments will be delivered as soon as possible. All right, okay. Have a nice day. Bye. Another deal, boss Patrick. Another international child trafficking cartel 
one's children, ages ranging between 7 and 15, very smart and intelligent ones. Possibly for child labor and prostitution. Obviously, of course. And at this time, the offer is so juicy, it's so irresistible, we have to go for it. <laughs> well, good deal, boss, but there's a snag here. What snag could that be? Boss, kidnapping children is becoming a very dangerous business. I mean, the other time we lost three of our men to the superior firepower of the police. Pathetic, Patrick. That was because you didn't take precautionary measures and that was a minus in your professional ability. I did. But the police took us unawares. I taught you to put your nose on the ground before embarking on any operation. This you didn't do. You didn't listen to me, did you? Boss, I did everything necessary. But, but, the police were too smart to uncover our plans. That's all. Well, you are just admitting your own inadequacies right before me here. Boss, it's not my fault that the Nigerian government is taking security very seriously. Oh, so are you telling me we shouldn't go into this operation? I didn't say so, boss. But I want us to change our method of oppression here. See, we shouldn't be swooping on children in order not to raise unnecessary dust. Do your job. I've done mine. And that's why you are handsomely paid. But you know I've always delivered, boss. End of discussion. You have three days to deliver. Don't you? Kidnapping young children, I mean, I can barely hurt a fly, not to mention children. Uh, well, I know how you feel. But listen, girl, I wasn't born with brutality and grinding my blood. I attend to it. I attend to it because it is important to put food on my table. But how could they make money on top children? It don't, I, mean, I, I can't do ah. Go hard, go hard, really. I mean, these are young, innocent children for crying out loud. Eh? I'm not that heartless. I'm not. I was afraid the first time I was introduced into this business. But look at me today. I mean, I'm one of the big things happening in this city. My professional wit stands up from the crowd. Now I can do it over and over again without regrets. How can you be so heartless, Patrick? Hmm? I saw you beating those those kids the other day. I heard myself, honestly. I be one fight you, man. Like, true. Temper, temper. Inducement is the answer, my dear. Inducement? Yes. Like that, you mean drugs? Exactly. <laughs> Bros, I don't go fitting drugs. Never. Mm -hmm. Come on, girl, you're a cheap tart. I mean, where do you get the nerve to jump into the bed of a man you hardly know? Excuse me. That case is different. Okay? Besides, I do it with my head screwed on. I don't need to be high on drugs. I have my ways. You're way my ass. Anyway, your way can serve as a substitute if you trust it that much. Mm -mm. I have to think about it. Sorry. I need time. I need time. We don't have time, June. We have less than three days to deliver. I don't care. I need time. All right? Just come back tomorrow. I'll give you an answer by tomorrow. <laughs> Do you know that there is no profession as endemic as prostitution? Ah, look, 
Hey, if you saw, you should get up, get up. Leave my house. Did they, did they, did they get up? No, June, I didn't mean to. I don't care what you meant. Leave my house, come out. Get up. Shut yourself up. Get out of my face again, I know, no. waiting for you yesterday for you to come and give me a report on how it all went. What happened? She pissed me off so I decided to go have some drinks. Meaning? Meaning she was trying to post stunts, boss. Why? She wasn't ready to play ball. I don't understand. I guess it's due to the fact that you are holding her in high esteem without even confirming her abilities. Is that what you told her? Young man, you know that no one enjoys any preferential treatment in my business, talkless of being held in high esteem. Didn't you tell her? Boss, let's not make a fox out of this. There are a thousand and one girls outside there who are ready to take up this job at the snap of my finger. Girls smarter than June. My intuition tells me June is the perfect choice, and she's just the one for the job. Well, boss, I'm sorry to say that you are beginning to add sentiments into this business, and it's not healthy for us. Patrick, do you realize that you're talking to your boss, and that what you just said could cost you your job or your life? I'm sorry, boss, but I was just trying to be professional as you taught me to be. You better be. Oh. oh. I guess she's just bluffing. you now and you shoved me off. Why are you greeting me? I thought you decided that I don't have any right to be happy. Mom, I'm your beloved son. 
And one thing I desire in this world is your happiness. Your happiness, mom. That still, you decided that I have no right to be happy when you embarrassed me before the beautiful girl I chose for you. Yes, uh, mom, on that issue, even if I have to pick a second wife, I think I'm old enough to choose the woman I want. Mom, why are you, why are you doing this? I mean, you're blowing this whole thing out of proportion and it's not leading us anywhere. It will lead us somewhere, someday when you finally realize that I am your mother and I have every right to request that you obey me. Even when it has to do with issues as salient as marriage. Listen to me, Michael. I brought you into this world and I must control every aspect of your life. Mom, no, okay? Look, I'm an adult and I have full liberty to do what I want, when I want it, and the way I want it, Mom. to me. I said I shot a man. For all I know, this man might be dead. Eh? What have I done? What have you people made me do? I'll come off it. Hey, God, I'm in trouble. Have you forgotten what the Bible says? If your right hand will lead you to hellfire, cut it off. My friend, you know they blaspheme. What did they worry you? Look, I told you people that I did not want a gun. I don't want a gun. You said it's for protection. No, Femo, I don't want. What do you think all the drilling you went through was meant for? I don't believe you don't even feel any remorse. You people are heartless, so you Accept are. It. Accept it, Anna. But I really appreciate your brilliance and your overt technical impure. What are you talking about? I followed you. I saw everything. I followed you closely. For Please. Was that a setup? No, 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 no. It wasn't a setup. Hey, I've shot him. You actually shot a man. You know, it's our duty to follow up our new recruits' first oppression. 
Anyway, yours was almost successful, but next time just be more tactical. What, what could I do? The man would have raised an alarm now. I, I had to do something. That was the first thing that came to mind. Yes, you would have done something. You could have talked yourself out of it and moved on. I know, maybe I, I should have done that, but I wasn't thinking. I wasn't thinking. Who are you thinking? Are you thinking about me? No, 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 come on. I, I know you have some feelings for me, don't you? Look, my friend, don't flatter yourself, okay? You're a nice guy, but you see, if you want me, you got to pay money. Shebo, yeah. this is a different business entirely. Well, well, you are the first person saying I'm a nice guy. Anyway, do you know what you would do now? I want you to walk in there. Put on a decent clothes and let me take you out for a drink. Let's celebrate your near success. Ha. Out, ZK. Look, I don't think it's safe for me to go out right now. No, you're safe with me. Go on, girl. Come on. But I don't want this thing anymore. Ba, me, fe. It is pretty bad. What what happened? She fell down the stairs. Landed on her back. Oh my god. She fell down the stairs? But Joy, Joy was meant to be there. It was in the middle of the night. Just tell me what Mama oh my was looking god. for downstairs in the middle of the Mama. night. And there was no light. But uh, from what the doctor said, there is certainty that she will get a quick healing, mm -hmm. huh? Only if she's willing. So let's hope she is. <sighs> have you did you have breakfast? Did Susan make you some? Yes, I'm fine. Fine. I'm rushing yes. enough to work now. Alright, um I'm just gonna have a shower and try and catch some sleep, hmm? Take care, okay? Yeah. Alright. Have, have a nice, nice day.
Um, Auntie, sorry, eh? Not to disturb you. Please, do you know where Nelson Street is around here? Nelson Street, Nelson Street. Mm, I think it's down there. Just if you go down, ask for from somebody, eh? Oh, please, can you just take me there, please? Because I've been. Ah, uh, no, Auntie. You know, you know what, eh? Just go down. Ask, drive down, show your way, car. Just go down, they'll describe it for you better. Hmm? Please. Come on, ask them, eh? Is the place. Look, I'm tired. I don't look look tired. No, wait. Let me ask somebody. Sorry, Auntie. Please come here. Eh? And uh, let me just find out from this girl. Please. Okay, I'll call you back. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, dear. How are you? Look, uh, please. Do you know where Nelson Street is? Nelson Street. Um, it's a little bit far from here. Um, can you be kind as to show me the place? Because I don't drive, drive round. I don't fit fine now. I beg. I'm sorry, I'm going on an errand for my mom. Oh no, no problem. Once you show me the place, I'll bring you back here. I'll drop you anywhere you want to go. Please, eh? Please, I'm tired. I'm tired of driving, eh? Thank you. Okay. Thank you, dear. God bless I thought you said you wanted me to show you Nelson Street. Change my mind. No, Auntie. Shut up. No, sorry, please, please. please. <laughs> I'm here to see Mrs. Williams. Tell her Mrs. Duke is here to see her. 
Auntie, I know you now. Just please. Please get her something to drink. Okay. Don't bother. I didn't come here to make Mary. Is anything the problem, my in-law? I am not your in-law. What is it that your daughter needs? Tell me, so I can pay her off to leave my son alone. I don't understand. Your daughter is causing a rift between my son and I because of our miserable barrenness and I don't like it. It is not my daughter's fault that she has not given you a grandson. I still believe that God's time is the best. Oh please, God's time my food. Don't say that I didn't come here to warn you because I wouldn't be responsible for anything that goes wrong with your daughter. It has not gotten to the point where we'll be engaging in poor. Take it easy with her. My daughter is a lawfully wedded wife to your son. And she cannot move out of his house without his consent. Oh? Is that what she's been telling you? <laughs> really? In that case, let me tell it to you the way it is. My son has no house. That house is my house. The wealth my son controls is mine. And my son must do whatever I want him to do. Do you understand? from me. Oh, she's only child that I have. <laughs> Look at my predicament. Oh, please let nothing happen to my daughter. She's all that I have. Lord, please don't keep this from me. Look at my predicament. What did you have to do? Is she God? So, how far about the investigation? I mean, has the criminal been apprehended? Um, not yet, sir. But we've made some arrests. Um, though the suspects are yet to own up. But we're still working on them, sir. That's bullshit. I mean, the man was shot in broad daylight and you cannot track down the criminal. 
You are giving me enough uh, reason to believe you are not competent to handle this case. It's not so, sir. I'm very competent. It's just that the suspect has not given me enough information to work with. But we'll get there, sir. Um, otherwise, you still haven't been able to do your job well, right? Uh, well, you see, I might be compared to a replace with another officer, you know? Sir, I'm putting in my best. But I think if food ransom is placed on whoever will have vital information that can lead to the arrest of the culprit, sir, this investigation process will hasten up. Yeah, but you see, I still haven't seen the need for a ransom here. I mean, if you can just do your investigation well, you just might gather enough evidence to apprehend the criminal. What do you think? I'll try my best, sir. Oh, no. Go now and do your job. Okay? Thank you, sir. our target for today? 10 over 10 in arithmetic. Yes. 10 over 10 in English. Yes. And 10 over 10 in social study. <sighs> you are simply a genius, my princess.
Look, I doubt if I can make it to Mary's school and then the hospital at the same time. So I might need you to pick Mary up for me, all right? Okay. Because if I don't go on time, my mom might be forced to eat that hospital food and I don't want her to. Like ice cream, Mommy? Yes. Yes, yes, that's good. So let's go and get ice cream. No, mm. no, I don't think this is true. I'm not a stranger now. I mean, one of your teachers, you've not seen me before. No. no. <laughs> what class are you in? 6A. You? 6B. You? 5B. I teach primary 4. That's why you don't know me. So, let's go. I'll bring you back before your parents get here, okay? Come, let's go. Come, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Um, wait. Mrs. Duke! Hi! Great uh, right here, we're waiting for you. Mary? Huh? Good evening, Mom. For what took you so long? I've been waiting. And what are you wearing? I don't like it. <laughs> uh, Mary, you take care of yourself, okay? And make sure you do your homework. Okay, I Mrs. will, Duke. Auntie. Mary! <laughs> How are you, dear? Fine. Bye-bye, Mrs. Duke. Thank you, Mom. Yeah. Mm. This is Mrs. Etu. Don't mind me. Uh, oh, sorry. Bye. Yes. Enter the car, my dear. Enter. Mom, what happened to the car? Why are you here with this? Where's the Jeep? Uh, the Jeep is in the mechanics. I had tire problem. So, but don't worry. This one is okay. Eh? It will take us home. Don't worry. Okay. Just enter, my dear. Okay. Bye bye. Yes. Mary. Mary up. Mary? Mary is gone. But that's not possible, Ma. Gone with whom, please? With her mother, of course. It's not so long when she came to pick her up. 
Susan, are you okay? What was the problem? I'm, I'm okay. But why did she have to ask me to come if she knew she was coming to pick her up herself? Oh, come on, it happens all the time. Maybe there's a change in her schedule. Take care of yourself and go home. All right, okay. Yes. Don't worry, I won't be long here. You hear? What? I thought I told you I was hungry. They'll, they'll give you something to eat, my dear. told me she already came over to pick her up. Well, I haven't seen her. All right, you may leave. Thank you. Pick her from school. Wait, are they not back yet? Susan is, but without Mary. Why? I should be asking you. I don't understand. You don't understand. Hmm. Well, Susan says that Mary's class teacher told her that you came to pick Mary up from school. Me? Oh, well, that's impossible. I went straight to the hospital to see my mom. I couldn't make it. That's why I asked her to pick her up. Wait, Susan. Susan! Susan! Yes, Auntie. Come. 
Didn't I ask you to pay Mary from school? Yes, I went over there, but the teacher, class teacher told me you already came over to pick her up. Well, that's not true. I did no such thing. Evelyn, where is Mary? We'll just wait. Let me call my uncle first and find out if he picked her up. Because... Hello, honey. Yeah, I'm, I'm good. Look, I just want to find out, did you by any chance um, pick Mary up from school today? No, 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 it's fine. Um, look, I'll, I'll call you right back, okay? What did he say? <laughs> he said he did not. Now you listen. I am not interested in any game or pranks that you're trying to play. Just get my granddaughter. I'm here to pick up my daughter, Mary. As you can see, everywhere is empty. All the people have gone home. Where is Mrs. Etuk? She has gone home too. Do you have her number? Give it to me, please. I don't have her number, but I think the proprietress will have her number. Okay, give me the proprietress's number. No, 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 no. She will not welcome me except on appointment. And you're sure everybody has gone? Yeah, everybody has gone. Ah, but Madam, wait. Which of the people are you talking about? Mary, Mary, man, you know me now. I drive a Lexus. But I saw you with her when school dismissed this afternoon. You saw me? Yes. Um, look, I haven't been back here since I left Mary in this school. So whoever you saw wasn't me. I saw you, Mrs. Etu, handed over your daughter to you. And you left with her. What are you talking about? You saw me the way I am like yes. this. What are you saying? So you went home and changed your dress and come back to ask us of your daughter again. You are not serious. I beg you. Come and go. Come and go now. As you can see, everywhere is, uh, is empty. There's nobody here again. Come go. Huh? How can you go home and come back to ask of your daughter again? Come, come go. See, we're not quarreling, all right? I haven't been back to this school since I left Mary here this morning. What kind of a woman is that? Come go, I beg. I said we don't have your daughter here. You've left with your daughter. Beg, come go. You saw me. You, you Are you still standing there? Wait. I said. Wait, wait, please. Please just help me. It wasn't me. This is how I've been. What kind okay. of a woman is this for God's sake? Please. What did you see? Come on, let it. I've not seen my Go on, let me lock this gate, Daddy. Ah. What are you doing? 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 I always knew it would come to this. I always knew it would come to this someday. 
because you never had time for that girl, or because of your, your, your evil intentions. No, 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 no. I disagree with you. Okay? Evelyn has never been negligent of our daughter's welfare. No, I have never been and never will be. I care for my daughter very much. Oh, liar! Liar! That's what you are. You're a bloody liar. I told you. Michael, I warned you right from the beginning. I told you that this devil, Basilified, came to destroy this family. But you wouldn't listen to me. Now you've said it done. I'm innocent. I'm innocent and God is my witness. God knows I am innocent. Honestly, I don't know what to think right now. How come both her class teacher, Mrs. Etuk, and the gate man both confirmed that they saw you with her? Right, I'll answer that. Answer that! I don't know. I don't know. Obviously, this is some sick joke or some plan of some sort to destroy oh, me. Please, please! please. Our drums. What we need to do is come together, call the police, and look for my child. Why are you looking at me like that? Why can you believe I'm innocent, don't you? of entertainment programming from the comfort of your home through our satellite delivered channels in your favorite languages French, English, Swahili, Sri, Igbo, Hausa, Yoruba and so on. Afarevo Dubbing Services With the largest number of dubbing studios in Africa we can help you dub your videos to major languages in Africa Swahili, English, French, Yoruba, Hausa, Igbo, Wolof, Zulu and so on. Aforevo YouTube, the largest YouTube partner in Africa with over 500 channels of top African entertainment and millions of eyeballs daily, we help thousands of video creators make money on YouTube. Aforevo, the revolution is on. What kind of problem is this? Eh? What kind of problem is this? I say shut up. This is all true. I say shut up. Eh? Why would Mary's mother come here to pick up her daughter and turn around to deny it? Why? I don't know what that woman wants to achieve with this. I was inside if I saw them with my two eyes. Mm -hmm. You can save your breath until we get to the station. Yeah. Madam, listen. I've been teaching in this school for the past three years with a very clean record. I wonder why this woman wants to tarnish my image. Well, madam, you will tell us all you know about the missing child when we get to the station. Exactly. Okay.
Michael, come and sit down. The police will soon be here. Come make yourself comfortable. I'm, I'm, I'm okay here. Oh, you're here. Oh, come right in. This way. Please sit down. Make yourself comfortable. Thank you. Thank you. Good. Thank you, Mom. Thank you. Mother. Mother. Are, are you sure we're doing the right thing? Of course. We are doing the right thing. This is our last resort. Evelyn! Evelyn! Please, detectives. Any news about my child? You're under arrest for the alleged kidnap of your daughter, Miss Mary Duke. I beg your pardon. I didn't kidnap my daughter. Madam, you have the right to remain silent. As anything you say here may be used against you in the court of law. Are you mad? Do you know what you're saying? That I kidnapped my daughter? What are you talking about? Detectives, make it fast. Did she put you up to this? Why would I kidnap Mary? What are you talking about? Please. Tell me why I would kidnap my only child. This way, please. Why would I? Why would I kidnap my child? Her daughter arrived from primary three. Can you imagine this woman? That woman surprised me. Something why I see Kuro Kuro with my eyes like this. She's still there inside that place, they deny him. I beg, let's go. I'll go for Madam, you have a very difficult case here. The testimonies of the two principal witnesses strongly indicate that you are the center of this whole drama. I have told you the truth of what I know. Should I imply that you decided to punish your mother-in-law by abducting your daughter because she was so hard on you for not being able to have another child? Or because your only daughter was so fond of her? Please, don't be ridiculous. Why would I kidnap my child so I can punish my mother-in-law? What kind of stupid story is that? Madam, I'm afraid. Your defense is too porous to establish a pragmatic evidence that you did not kidnap your daughter. I'm sorry. That's the truth. I did not. See, madam. I have the power to set you free. But that is if you confide in me. I have nothing to add to what I've already told you. You don't want to confess. You still do not want to confess. Sergeant. Yes, ma'am. Take her to the cell. Yes, ma'am.
How are you doing? Well, I'm getting better. At least I can move my hands. Thank God for that. Um, Mama, we have a big problem. What problem, my son? Mama, Mary has been kidnapped. What? Who kidnapped Mary and why? I, I don't know how to say this, but uh, Evelyn kidnapped Mary. What? My daughter? It's in my... Yes, Mama. Your only daughter, Evelyn, kidnapped our only daughter. How about Uncle Mike? That can't be true. I mean... Why would Aunt Evelyn do a thing like that? I don't know. It's impossible. How could she kidnap her own daughter? Mama, two principal witnesses have testified to that fact. There must be a mix-up somewhere. Mm -hmm. Please tell her to see me now. I'm afraid that will not be possible. What do you mean? Mama, she is in police custody right now. What? Yes. My own daughter has been arrested? Mama, that was our last resort. Since she wouldn't own up. It's not true. The police are investigating the case right now. It's not true. It's not my daughter. Mama, I, I came here to tell you to please find a way to send a message across to Evelyn. Tell her to tell the world what on earth she did with our daughter. Because the, the whole thing is no longer funny. It is no longer funny to me. Please, Mama. Uh, that's all I came for. I have to take my leave now. other than following me around, stalking me. Hmm? I came to see how you're doing in your new apartment. Ah. Yes. See, I must comment. You, you have tests, girl. Really do. Thank you. I'm flattered. I didn't come here to flatter you. I don't care. Whatever. So why are you here? Because I don't remember inviting you over. Did I? Are you chasing me away? Look, I don't want your girl to enter here and see you here and start thinking otherwise. Joe? I talked you into accepting the proposition. And now you're ripping from it fabulously. Don't I deserve a thank you? Mm. Kilofe, what do you want? Tell me. You want to sleep with me? Is that it? You see, that's the problem I have with you. You're always blunt. How? Can't you find a better way of putting it there? Than the truth? We should be in around the bush. Tell me what you want. You want to sleep with me, Abby? So I'll be a show again, Abby. I'm not that cheap prostitute, that slut, Abby. <laughs> sure. Yes, you will know the fear. You won't chop it in your guard, they chop. You know, get respect. You know, get. Yeah. <laughs> 
you, you wouldn't Hi. call that you wouldn't call that unfaithfulness, will you? I mean, you have been sleeping behind his back. You're a prostitute, and you know it. Yes, I know it, and I have a business to run. So mind your own. What do you want, my dear? The boss has terminated delivery of the consignment. Why? Because his clients have not paid in the balance of the money. <sighs> and he doesn't play with his money. That's when I was hoping that this one would just go fast, fast, fast. Why? Is that small girl? That, that one that is always calling me mommy. The girl is beginning to make me feel very uncomfortable. Me you like it. And uh, why we should call you her mother? And why me? Hmm? I don't know, and the more she calls me mommy, the more I feel somehow. I just, me fair, don't want to. Come on, she's just a prankster trying to use that as a tool. Find her way. No, she's been calling me mommy since she saw me in her school. Uh, even her teacher thought I was her mother. That's how I got her. Uh. Did you have a twin sister? Twin, Amy. Are you sure? Bros, if I get to a sister, I will know. I don't have one. Then she is being mischievous. <sighs> Maybe. Okay, now that you are here, let me be the mature one and ask you what you want. What can I offer you? And what do you have that might be of interest to you? Water. So, um, have you been able to come up with any information that can lead to my daughter's whereabouts? None for now. You can't be serious. Who? Do you mean she hasn't given any tangible information that could lead to my daughter's recovery? She still maintains her innocence. Maybe she's not been well tortured. I have the feeling that if she's thoroughly, properly tortured, she'll tell the truth. We've done all our best possible, but she wouldn't own up. I just can't believe how you people could leave that woman still breathing with everything she's done to my granddaughter. Well, madam, it is not in our powers to pass verdict on her. I think what we should do is to charge her to court. Then go ahead and do that. What? Is that necessary? Of course, yes. We have no choice. Let her, let her pay for her crime. Yes. I think your daughter has been abducted and used for ritual purposes. What? what? Wait, wait, wait. Are you, are you implying that my daughter might be dead? Unfortunately, yes. Oh my god. Oh, no, 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 no. You, you can't be serious. No, 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 it's not true. I don't, I, no, I, I don't believe she's dead. I believe she was abducted for a ransom. Then the kidnappers should have shown up long ago. At least for their ransom. Are you serious? Very serious. Signals have been sent to all the police stations in this country. Yet there is no possible clue about her whereabouts. Meaning, she's not alive. wife have the gods to kill our only child. Gods is an understatement, Michael. That woman is evil. She is mean. She would do it again and again, over and over, if she has the opportunity. God, she's heartless. She is so heartless. And why don't you let the venom of justice Destroy her. Good day, sir. Good day, madam. Um, can I see your cigar? Okay. It's not running right now. Oh, um, okay. Tell him that um, Barrister John Okole was here. Okay. That I came to inform him that my client has decided to drop the battery charges. He's aware of the case. That one, I'll take care of that one. Thank you. If 
Evelyn. Do you know her? John, what are you doing here? It's a long story, my dear. Uh, do you want to talk about it? Sorry, madam, that wouldn't be possible because the RBO is waiting to see her. Uh, all right, then I will just wait for you to finish, please. Sorry, madam, if I may ask, who are you? I'm an attorney. my story. How long have you been here? I came in yesterday. I spent the night here. Joanne, it's the worst night of my life, I swear. This is so, <sighs> so pathetic. Your, how could your husband and mother-in-law think you capable of adopting your own daughter for ritual purposes? But what I know is that my mother-in-law is solely behind this. That woman has never supported my marriage to her son, not even for a second. She wants me gone. Mm -hmm. me. And your mother, what's her take in all this? My mother is bedridden. My poor mother is half paralyzed. What can she do? What can she do? So, did you do it? I can barely stand up to my mother-in-law. Where would I have the mind or the heart to, to kidnap my one and only child? Does it make sense? What's the stage of the case right now? Listen, I'm being child to court in a week's time. In a week? Have you acquired a defense counsel? Oh, I was thinking of doing that today. But I swear, I didn't think we'd get to this. I didn't... I didn't see this coming at all. All right then. I will take up your defense. That is, if you don't have anyone else in mind. No, I don't. I swear, I never thought I would need a lawyer in my life. But thanks anyway. Thank you so much, Joanne. Thank you. I will need what our friends for. We will figure out a way to get you out of here, okay? Madam, the time is up. I know. I'm afraid my hands are Barista. I've been expecting you right now on my way out. Oh, sorry about that. I was held up briefly at the traffic. But can we talk before you leave? Okay. But please make it snappy. Um, from your investigations, what would your advice be on the case? I will advise you drop the case because the evidence against your client is overwhelming. I know that. But I still feel there's a missing link somewhere. Because it's almost impossible for a mother to adopt her own daughter when, as a matter of fact, she's under immense pressure from her mother-in-law to give her husband more children. Well, that's left for the judge to determine. But I want you to understand that it's impossible for my clients in her stable mental status to have adopted her own daughter for ritual killings as being overly alleged. Well, like I said before, her innocence can only be established by the court. But first and foremost, you speak with the witnesses before you head to the greatest loss of your career. Excuse me.
Okay. You are Mrs. Etuk, Mary Duke's class teacher. Yes, I am. And how may I help you? Actually, my name is Joan. I'm the defense counsel to Evelyn Duke. That's Mary's mother. You do know her. Yes, I do. But I don't think I wish to have anything to do with that woman. Not after what she made me go through in the hands of the police. Well, um, madam, actually, that's why I'm here. To talk to you. Talk to me? <laughs> go on, I'm all ears. Know the truth, so I know how to defend you in court. Look, everything I have told you concerning this case is all I know, and that's the truth as far as I'm concerned. That is a lie, and you know it. No judge in his right senses will allow you walk away with such a flimsy story. Now stop it. I won't allow you to add insults to my injury. Is this how you intend to defend me? Fine. I don't need your defense. You can't be serious. I'll find myself another way. Officer! Wait, 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 wait. Just touch me. Alright, I'm sorry, sweet. I'm sorry. Okay? Believe me, I really want to help you out on this. How do you intend to do that when you don't even believe me, just like the rest of them? I'm sorry about that. But the truth of the matter is that we do have a very difficult case in our hands. I am sure the testimonies from the witnesses will send you to know where but the guns. If we do not counter it with a strong defense, the impersonation will be hard to prove is too flimsy a story to stand in the court. And I'm sorry, I don't know what else to tell you. Except you want me to make up the story. What I'm talking about. There is no hospital that my husband and I have not been to for one medical examination or the other. And in all, doctors pronounced us medically fit to have children. Um, in that case, I agree with you that your problem is spiritual and requires a spiritual solution. Pastor. Please help me. Help me, Pastor Dave. Because my in-laws are threatening to throw me out of my matrimonial home. Why? If I don't give their brother a child soon. No, uh, we will take you through deliverance. But before that, you have to undergo three days fasting and prayers to seek the face of God. It's important. Thank you, Pastor. When do you intend, as in how soon do you intend to commence this spiritual journey? Immediately, as soon as possible. But today is gone. So, I'll start tomorrow. 
because pastor I'm desperate no 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 no. you don't have to be sister nurse you don't have to be desperate because no situation is too hard or too late for God okay all you need is faith in him just faith believe him that's all okay. so the Lord is your strength Thank go home and you have what you ask come on go in the name of God Thank the Lord you, is pastor. your strength thank you pastor bless you What are the cases for today? Case number one. The state versus Mrs. Evelyn Duke. What are the allegations? Mrs. Evelyn Duke is accused of abduction and murder of one Miss Mary Duke. Is the accused on oath? No, my lord. Are you a Christian or a Muslim? Christian. Repeat this after me. I, Mrs. Evelyn Duke. I, Mrs. Evelyn Duke. Do solemnly swear. Do solemnly swear. That the evidence I shall give before this court. That the evidence I shall give before this court. Shall be the truth. Shall be the truth. The whole truth. The whole truth. And nothing but the truth. And nothing but the truth. So help me God. So help me God. My Lord, the accused is on oath. Any representation of possible uh, appearances? Yes, my Lord. I am Joan Okole for the defense. I am Jesse Thompson for the prosecution. My James. Lead prosecuting counsel. Read the charges. The accused is being charged for criminal abduction and possible murder of one Miss Mary Duke, her daughter, which is a criminal offense against the state and punishable under the criminal code and the 1999 constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Prosecution, you can make your name Why did you call me? No, it's what did happen? How would you heard? What is happening? That girl now, that small woman we get that. The one that calls me mother. Yes. They are looking for that girl. There's just something about that girl. Like, look, if we don't get rid of her, we might enter trouble. Look. 
Why don't you calm down? And relax. I can't. I can't. I've tried. Listen, Mr. Jack has already made contact with his foreign partners. Very soon the next batch will be off, so calm down. The sooner the better, Joe. I don't want trouble. Okay, I've told you to calm down. Who is that? What are you two guys doing here? I thought I asked you to come over so that we can strategize our operations for tonight. Yes, but uh, boss, you need to talk to John. About what? She has been feet dragging. Mr. Jack, that little girl that we kidnapped, her own is different. They are looking for her. We better get rid of her fast or else. Which of them? The one who calls you mother? Eh, uh, that one. That particular girl. She's making me uncomfortable eh? Let, let's, let's hurry this operation now. But what have you got to do with this little girl anyway? I wonder. Nothing, nothing. It's just that since we got that girl, I've not been myself. Eh? And the feeling is getting worse. Let's just give her away, I beg. Anyway, anyway, anyway. I have established contact with my partners abroad. Everything is under control. You don't have anything to worry about, okay? Now let's get cracking, quickly. Quickly? Go dress up. I'm waiting for you outside. Yes, bro. Say no. Pause my ears. Sister. As I was praying, the Spirit of God really start to me that until you reconcile your past, your situation will never change. Pastor, I don't understand. Search your heart. What do you have with children? Little children. Yes, children. The Holy Spirit ministered to me that long ago you had a dealing with someone which involved little children. And God is angry with the role you played in that transaction. And until you make amends, you will never have a child of your own. Transaction. Search your mind. The Holy Spirit told me this, and He does not lie. I heard Him. If you know where you got it wrong, go and make amends. Confess your sins and forsake them. God is faithful and just to forgive you and cleanse you from all unrighteousness. Confess your sins and ask God for forgiveness. That is the solution to your problems. Pastor, 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 Your solution is in your hand, Lord.
How is your heart? Well, I'm getting better. In fact, the doctor said I could be discharged any moment from now. My daughter, thank you very much. God will bless you. Amen. Hey, my daughter, are there chances of her winning this case? Well, Mama, that's why I'm here. I, I can't tell you. Actually. We have a very difficult case ahead of us. And our chances of winning are hanging in the balance. Hmm. Are you saying that my daughter will be convicted for a crime she knows nothing about? Well, that is what it might come down to. God. God, where are you? God, why will you sit there and never keep my innocent child? It is not a crying matter. As it stands now, only you are capable of helping your daughter breathe the air of freedom. What do you mean? Let me ask you this. Is it possible for someone to have absolute resemblance with another human being without any blood link? What are you getting at? Well, you and I know that there is a dark secret that you are hiding somewhere. But madam, it will lead your daughter to nowhere but the gallons. Lawyer, I don't understand you. I want you to search your heart. with you is risky. The makeup director will not into a for handling a circulator if you should see us together. Please, Matron, please, I beg you, in the name of God, please, my whole life depends on that address. Please. What do you need the address for? Can't you say it? Uh, yes, I owe, the, I owe them a favor. I owe that family a favor and I, I need to see them urgently. There's something you're not telling me. You don't sound convincing. Oh, oh God. Wait one. Huh? At least. For the fact that I'm a former staff of this hospital. Yes. That makes it worse. How could a former staff come back after several years to ask for a patient's address? Look, I promise. I will let you into all the details. Hmm? I will. But for now, time is running out of me. Hmm? I beg of you. Please. Okay. I will get you the address. But my old prayer is that you don't get me into trouble at the end of the day. No. I want to. I want. Please. Thank you so much. God bless you. Uh, thank you. Thank you. Uh, you uh, I promise, I promise, huh? It's Nothing okay. will happen to it's you. Okay. Nothing, it's nothing. Okay. Come on, wait. Oh, I'll wait. Jesus. Oh, for the Lord. Thank you so much.
um around now now here please if you ask that that, that people there or that boy already there okay. may you know come waste my time i don't tire no, no, please, uh -huh. please may you may you know come waste my time uh -huh. Uh, good afternoon. Good afternoon, madam. Uh, I'm looking for one uh, Mrs. Williams. Mrs. Williams? Madam, there's nobody answering their name in this compound. Is this not uh, number 32? Yeah. Yeah, it used to be number 32 before the demolition exercise. I'm looking for Mrs. Williams. She used to live here in the number 32. Uh, but the only woman I know that used to live here was uh, Mama Evelyn. But she has packed up before the demolition exercise. Um, <clears throat> okay, do, do you know, do you perchance know where Mama Evelyn has moved to? Boy, you just told me you're looking for Mrs. Williams. Uh, yes. I'm looking for Mrs. Williams. I just want to know if Mama Evelyn knows where Mrs. Williams has moved to. Mm, okay. In that case, uh, you go to number 17 Accra Street. That's if she has not moved out from that place. Well, I'll try my luck. <laughs> Thank okay. you so much. I'm, I'm grateful. Bye bye. Thank you. Uh, Mother Alpha. Uh, uh, sir, no, um, we're going to another place. <laughs> which kind which can't be on this one? Eh? I beg now. Uh, why are you tell me just the part breath or the heart? But just say you define one one no. one person like that. Sorry now. I beg. Only you go double my money. Oh. No problem. Let's just go. Let's just go. Do you know where Accra Street is? Let's just go. I beg. I don't come about to come watch uh, 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 what's it the colour. Do, don't do now. Uh, Maybe we just do.
Uh, Mary Abby? Yes. Now, why do you keep calling me mother? Because you're my mother, aren't you? Let's leave pranks aside. You hear? Do I look like your mother? I mean, if you see your mother, you will not know her. Mom, why are you talking like this? Why are you denying me? <laughs> I know what you're trying to do. Yeah. But you see that you're blackmail. It will not work. Now, stop calling me mother. You hear? I agree with you. Uh, oh, so you agree I'm not your mother. One minute I'm your mother, the next minute I'm not. You know what? Stop thinking. Don't call me mother again. You hear? I believe you because of the way you've been maltreating me. I doubt truly if you're my mother. Mmm. Gosh, yeah. Yeah, go inside. You can go to the kitchen. What you want here? Good day, my in-law. Who is your in-law? Um, madam, we brought good news. What news? Evelyn is pregnant. Evelyn is pregnant. Yes. And how is that any of my business? Uh -uh. Are you not happy that your daughter-in-law is pregnant? Oh, please! I don't want to hear any lousy, flimsy story from you people. I thought you all came here to tell me that my granddaughter has been found. <laughs> Actually, your granddaughter... Oh, please! Was... Just shut it. I don't want to hear anything from you. Could you leave my house? Don't you have any human compassion at all? How dare you? You don't have any business here. Your business is in court. Samuel! 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 Yes, madam. Samuel, and why did you allow these things in without my permission? I didn't say anything, madam. Oh, you are very stupid! Come on, throw them out and see me immediately! Yeah, excuse, me, excuse me, excuse me. She's been accused What she didn't do But it seems all fingers Not pointing at her She's so confused 
Is there someone out there doing all this? Who could she be? There must be someone out there doing all this. Who could she be? She's innocent. She's been accused of But how can she prove it That she is innocent Of oh, crime they say she committed She's running out of time She, she is innocent She is innocent oh, she, she is innocent She is innocent Could this be that's causing all this trouble? Whatever this could be. Madam, you attributed the abduction of Miss Mary Duke to the twin sister that exists out of imagination. How do you intend to convince the court? And that is why we are here, isn't it? We learned that your defense has been watered down by lack of substantial evidence. As a highly celebrated lawyer of the state, what do you think would be the fate of your client? <laughs> no comment, uh, ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen, the reason we have the court is because the law recognizes the father are two sides to every case. My learned colleague has already pronounced my client guilty without considering the circumstantial ground on which she's been accused. Impersonation. Now we've all heard her story. It is a very pathetic story. There is no doubt in my mind that is clear to this honorable court that there is a twin sister somewhere whom reasons known to her kidnapped her twin sister's daughter. Now, is that enough reason to condemn an innocent woman just because her twin sister is nowhere to be found? No. My lord, the answer is no. And another fundamental fact that my learned colleague is working so hard to let this court overlook the fact that my client is pregnant. And that unborn child has legal right to life. My lord, this right is what this honorable court must protect. I believe in the law and its fairness. I rest my case, Your Honor. Prosecutor? Yes, my lord. My lord, I will not want to waste the time of this honorable court, my lord. So I'm going to go straight to the point. This case is a very simple case, my lord. That is the accused standing over there, my lord. She has been accused of kidnapping and murder, my lord. But my lord, she will not agree to this crime that she has committed because of the fear of being punished by this honorable court. My lord, we have witness testimonies from two witnesses here testifying against her that she has committed the crime beyond reasonable doubt. My learned colleague here talked about her twin sister. That is just the figment of her imagination. Too flimsy a story to be accepted in this court of law. The fact that she is pregnant, my lord, does not mean we have to set her free. Convicting her will not bring back the innocent child. Yet, 
setting her free we only endanger the lives of several others out there my lord the court is a court of justice and justice must prevail arrest my case your court. this court shall now go on recess and it shall reconvene in 30 minutes to enable the court to deliver its judgment. The court shall rise. Court, rise! Is there something you need? Maybe a drink I, I can get you? No, 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 Joanne, I'm okay. But I want to go and beg her to withdraw the case. No, no, no Mama, absolutely not. I, I don't think that's necessary for now. It's probably pointless. You sure? I just hope the judge will be lenient with my daughter. Mama, it's, it's difficult to tell. But we need to pray. Joanne, I've prayed. It seems like God is not answering my prayers. But Jolly just um, will her to, to that side. After careful examination of submission, brother by the defense and prosecuting counsels, I hereby give my verdict as follows. That you, Miss Evelyn Duke, did commit the alleged offense based on the evidence brought before me by the prosecuting counsel. The defense counsel has failed to establish pragmatic evidence to exonerate your involvement in the abduction and murder of Miss Duke. I would like to say, you are a disgrace to motherhood and people like you should be discouraged to live in our society. Instead of giving your daughter bread, as one of the virtues of mother, you rather choose to give her servant. You, Mrs. Evelyn Duke, is hereby found guilty of all the charges and therefore sentenced to death by her. <laughs> You shall be hung by your neck until you are confirmed dead. However, since the accused have been confirmed to be carrying a baby, a stay of execution of this judgment is hereby revoked. And she shall be held in prison custody until after she has been delivered of the baby. This is my judgment. The court shall arise. found her guilty of her crime and sentenced her to death. 
So how is that my fault? First, mother, you said your grouse with her was her inability to give me another child. And even now that she has been confirmed to be carrying my baby, your feelings towards her remain unchanged? Oh, come off it, Michael. Come off it. She's not carrying no baby. Her lawyer just concocted that story in order to gain some little sympathy for her. Mother, mother, just, just pray that that lawyer gets an appeal. Otherwise, this house will be on fire. I will make you understand that she just destroyed my marriage. Michael! Michael! Michael, come back here! Michael! You must be out of your senses. My goodness. What's going on here? never been able to stand up against me before. My goodness, she's taking my son away from me. Yeah? Because if the man I call father can molest me, which man will go feed you? No, 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 man, I'm not like that. I'm already talking about it. I'm going to see this one. I better take it down. Uh, who is it? John is here. Come, oh, my father, this is constructed. Um, this one is coming. Uh, wait! This one is coming. Are you mad? What kind of stupid question is that? For this place, he has every right to come in and go as he pleases. And I don't have the right to come and go with like, please. Listen, what am I getting from you? My friend, enter there. <laughs> you, you don't mean that. You don't mean I should go in there. Look, enter there and I'll just stay and work on him. I would have thought. What are you doing? Wait, let us welcome him to the Hello, honey. So. So, where is he? He, who? You know who? Hmm. I don't know what you're talking about. Who are you? June, don't play games with me. Uh, Mr. Jack, <laughs> look, it hasn't got into this thing. Uh, Patrick, come out. Boss it out. Patrick! Daddy, daddy, daddy. It's okay. It's okay. Sorry. <coughs> good, good, good morning, boss. Sorry, good afternoon. <laughs> uh, what time is it? I. Sorry, boss. Uh, what was Patrick, it? this is not funny. This is not. What were you doing in the toilet? I, I don't understand what, what, what you mean. Uh. Oh, you don't understand. You have been eating something that belongs to your boss. No, no. I, 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 I didn't want you to get suspicious, so I, I, I decided to, to take a, a, a leak in the, uh, the, the toilet. You've been judged by your own conscience. No, wait, uh, you see, I did suspect you. Haven't I been sending you here? You, you have. No, you, 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 um, uh, wait, wait, <laughs> Mr. Jack, if I may come in here. 
Uh, you see, let's just get one thing straight, eh? When you met me, nobody I share what I did do. So what do you mean by that? Simple. Look, I'm a freelancer. I can sleep with whomever I choose. Oh, so you have just confirmed you've been sleeping with my boy? No, no, that's that's not what I'm saying, Mr. Jack. What I'm saying is, look, what I'm doing with you, I'm only doing it because I want to. Not because you own me. Do you understand? So, um, there's no need for this. <laughs> that's my business. Let's leave it. Let's just discuss the one you hired me for. Put the gun down. Let's, let's discuss. Sit, sit down. All right. Oh yeah, sit down. It, this is not an issue. All right. All right. Cheers, you want? Just and what are you doing here? Just get out. <laughs> of course, of course. Mm -hmm. Make no mistakes. I want a clean job done. Huh? Monies have been remitted into my accounts. So delivery must be effected tonight. And you, Patrick, make sure you don't leave any loose end untied. Don't do your boss. You mean she has regained consciousness? Yes. Actually, you had an accident and maybe because you hit your head so hard, you fell into a coma. Okay, let's start this way. So, how do I get to meet your parents? Parents? Do I have parents? Of course you do. Everybody does have parents. I don't have a parent. Okay, um, can I know your name? Name? I don't have a name. Ah, I'm Alicia. I'm Alicia. Nurse? Mm -hmm. I have a situation in our hands. Yes. So what are we going to do? Now she can't remember anything. I mean, we can't keep her here forever. That's true. But there's always a way out. First, get her something to eat. All right, doctor. All right, my dear. Um, can you remember any of your friends? School friends? Stop telling me what I don't know. I don't have any friends and I don't go to school. Okay, okay. Don't worry, okay? Don't worry. I'm sure when you eat, 
you'll just be fine. They don't know you're here. I know wherever they are right now, they must be looking for you. I don't have any parents. Okay. Um, we need you to help us. You just must help us. You must remember something. At least your name. I don't remember my name, which means I don't have. Okay. Um, can I call you... Julie? Okay. I like the name. Good. So, um, Julie, don't worry. Everything will be fine. Okay? Good. So, eat your biscuits. The governor of the state, Dr. Ahmed Joshua, has endorsed the execution of all the condemned inmates in the state prisons. This was done today during a courtesy call on the governor by the controller of prisons, Mr. Mohamed Jibril, in an effort to decongest our prisons. In a related development, the controller of customs has issued a two-week ultimatum to importers to clear their goods at the port or risk having their goods confiscated. Wonderful. 
whole new is wonderful. Finally, yes, that little scheming criminal. Yes, oh, this is this is great. Michael, where are you going? You just got back from work. You've had been arrested. Where are you off to? Why? Wow, at this time? I hope I hope it's not connected with the news on TV. Because if it's got to do with that, I expect you to be happy that the devil is finally going to face the hangman's news for killing our daughter. Stop! Mom, stop, okay? Don't you think I've heard enough of it? I've heard enough, Mom. Let me be. Has she never done anything? No, Doctor. I even took her to the scene of the accident as instructed, but she could not remember anything. This girl has spent over a week in this place now, and all efforts to reach her parents prove abortive. I don't know what to do. I... And the bills are rolling. See, Doctor, I suggest we we'll go to the media. When they tell her story, I believe her parents will come looking for her. I never thought of that. Oh, that is a very good idea. I have a friend who works with the media. Okay, I'll call him now. Ah, it came There's something I want you to do for me. It's an emergency. I want you to come to my office and I want you to do it for me personally. All court proceedings are on hold right now for the simple reason that some um, judges are on strike for government's failure to implement the 15% salary scale for judiciary workers. Oh my God! Oh my God! Why now? Oh Jesus! What do we do next? I don't know. You don't know? You should know. You're the lawyer. I mean, <coughs> look, uh, Barrister Joel, you have to do something, okay? Figure out some way to end this. She mustn't hang. I don't know.
My daughter, it's a long story. It took my late husband and I almost three years before God blessed us with children. Twins. Twins. How come you've never mentioned this? Are you aware that your daughter is about to be hanged? My silence about it has nothing to do with this case. Because I lost one at birth. How? But Mama, you've never mentioned it to me for once that Auntie Evelyn had a twin. How about that? Because of the pains we felt, my late husband and I resolved that we should not dwell on it so that we can forget the trauma. I think I mentioned it before Evelyn. Why do I get the feeling that your sin is telling me the whole truth? What do I have to hide about each other lost when it mattered most? Is there any problem? Uh, uh, yes. Uh, I am Mrs. Williams. Mrs. Williams. What are you doing on a wheelchair? My sister, let's not talk about this. Just say what you're here for. Uh, I don't know how to say what I want to say. I thought you said there was no problem. Yes. Um, I am ashamed of myself. I have sinned against you. And God Almighty. Madam, please just say what it is that you want to say. We were in, a, in the middle of a very important discussion before you walked in. I'm so sorry. I was a nurse at the hospital where you gave birth to you set of twins years ago. One of the women in the private uh, maternity ward. Okay. <laughs> Mrs. Williams, she put to bed a set of beautiful twin. twin. No, 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 not Mrs. Williams. I mean Mrs. Dubem, the other woman. Uh, uh, Mrs. Dubem, she, she had still bus. Oh my god, not I'm so again. sorry. Ah! When will this whole nonsense stop? When? She has had two miscarriages previously and now still birth. God, why? So why? Sorry. Take her, sir. Hmm? Take her. Uh, excuse me. Please. I don't know how to 
series. I was wondering if, if you could help me. What do you mean by help you? You see, I, I am a senator of the Federal Republic. But in spite of the power, money and influence that I wield, I, I still feel incomplete without children. Um, I understand. Uh, that's why I was wondering if you could help me. Yes, but how? Uh, since none of the women... Uh, since the women have not seen their babies, I mean, it is possible you just swap the dead baby with one of the twins. Uh, sir, what are you asking me to do? Absolutely not. No. Look. Listen, nothing is impossible. I mean, I, I have the money to change your life. Name your price. I have the money to transform you. Transform your life. No, sir. Please. Absolutely not. Please. Please. Consider me. Uh, no, no, look at me as a better brother. I'm sorry, I don't know the embarrassment that I go through. I'm not my friends, but please, please, please. Oh, sir, please be touched. Please, please, please. Don't. Please, please. 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 Okay, I'll see what I can do. I'll see what I can do. Ah. Okay. Mrs. Williams, take her. It's okay. It's the will of God. Mm -hmm. Take her. At least the other twin is okay. Mm -hmm. Take her. It's okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Madam, sorry, eh? Sorry. Take that. It's real. Yeah. It's real. Please don't cry. At least you have you have one. It's real. I'm sure it's the will of God. Sorry, eh? Yes. Okay. Don't cry. You know you're not strong yet to cry. Sorry, yeah. So sorry. It's done. It's done good. At last. <laughs> oh, stop. The two women in the private maternity ward have both put to bed. Oh, really? Yes. How are the babies? Um. They are doing fine, except Mrs. Williams, who had a set of twins, but one died. Oh, oh, what a pity. That nice woman. Yes. So, sir. Um, Mrs. Deben is doing well with her baby, though. It's okay. Let me go and commiserate with her. that I suffered all these years. Believe it that my daughter was dead because of your greed. Oh my God. Oh God. Oh God. Oh God. <laughs> Please forgive me. <laughs> forgive me. <laughs> I can no longer bear the burden of this scene alone. Oh God. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. <laughs> um, 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 despite all this, this is a very welcome news. It is. It, it means that there is a sister somewhere, a twin, whom we must find to explain Mary's disappearance. We just have to figure out how to find her. This is very good news. <laughs> Even you have to cheer up. All this, all this will soon be over. You have a twin. No, I don't have a twin. 
Actually, I had one chin dead at birth. I am not asking you, I am telling you, you have a toy. Actually, I went to see your mom and this woman came. She's been disturbed over the years for what she had done. According to her, she swapped your twin with a dead baby. That's why your mother had always thought that your twin sister was dead. I have a twin? Yes. So that's... Uh, we're trying to track her down now. Because once we do that, we, we just establish the fact that you were not there. There was someone who looked like you. You know, so every other thing is just a mere formality. Once we get her, my twin is alive. Oh yes, she is. She took my child. Well, only her can explain that to us why she did that. If we, if if we, if we look at me, all this will soon be over. Okay? Once we get her. It's in the papers. Yes. Um, she's at the hospital. She she had an accident and and she she had um, amnesia and she had the accident because she was trying to run away from the kidnappers. Yes. Yes. And uh, she's at the hospital now, Mama. And I'm here to <sighs> please, Mama. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. I can't wait to see her. All right. Let me get my bag first. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. Thank Mama is right there on the paper. Yes. Oh, please, please, please. Have you seen her? Have you seen her? That is what we are going to do right now, Mama. She's right there. According to the, 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 the information we got in the newspaper. So she's please, at please. the hospital. Mama, she's at the hospital, okay? That's what, what we're going to write. Huh? I just hope she's the one. Okay. Oh, my God. Oh, Jesus, you're worthy to be praised. Thank you, Lord. This is not a gimmick. How do you mean? John, this, this happens to be the same hospital my mother-in-law has been receiving treatment. How come we never heard anybody talk about my daughter all this while we've been visiting? If she is here. We, have, we, we just have to go in and talk to the doctor. To be sure, because this is where the paper says she's at. Indeed. Marco. Mother. I hope you've not brought me here in order to waste my time. Because I told you, I've never trusted this thing called a lawyer. Oh. Come on. 
I just what? hope so, Michael. I just hope she's here. Otherwise, all hell will be let loose. No, no, no time for trouble now, okay? Let's... my mother, Mrs. Duke, and uh, I'm the father of the girl you published in the newspapers. Show him, show him. It's, uh, um, that's her. Oh, you mean Julie? No, Mary. Maybe. I think there's a typographical error there. Her name is Mary. Okay, it's possible because um, she actually suffered amnesia. She's here. Amnesia? Loss of memory? Yeah. Is there something you can show me to prove that you are actually her parents? A, a lot, a lot, Doctor. Um, all right, um, uh, here. Take a look at this picture. That's, that's me, that's her mother, and that's her. Okay. My father. Yeah. Um, actually, she had an accident my days ago. She was brought here. Um, since then, she's been on treatment. Doctor, we've read all about that in the papers. We're wondering if it's possible for us to see her right away. Why sure it's possible? Alright, just a minute. Uh, nurse, please uh, bring Julie to my office right away. Her name is Mary. Stop calling her Julie. Her name is Mary. Mary, Mary. The girl in the amnesia ward. Thank you. She'll do it also. She's fine, right? She's okay. She's okay. Everything is fine. I guess this is yours. Yes. Thank you. Thanks to the media. Oh my god! Mary! Oh my god! I don't know you! Jesus. Mary, I'm your father. And that's grandma. That's, that's grandma, Mary. I'm Mary. Doctor, she doesn't recognize me. Jerry, come this way. Mary, look at Grandma here. It, it, She's the one. It, it's okay. It's She's okay. the one, Doctor. This is expected. It's all right. Oh, Mary! Uh, oh, my God. Um, this will take some time. Like I said, she suffered from this. Okay. All right, no problem, Doctor. Mary, don't you recognize Daddy? Who is he? And for point of correction, my name is Julie, not Mary. Yes, sir. I'm not going to take this. What's the meaning of this, Michael? No, 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 I'm not going to take this. Whatever that woman has done to my granddaughter, she's going to explain it to me. How can Mary not know me? Mother. No! Mother, what nonsense! Mother, I'm not here. Michael, I won't take this. I won't take this! Mother, mother just nonsense. Calm down, Mother. Doctor, it's okay. It's okay. Right, please don't bother about her, okay? It's okay. Mary, baby, um, Mom will be so glad to see you. Like I said, yes. this will take some time. Okay? Okay. Um, my dear, don't worry. After some time, you get to recognize them. This is your father. And one more thing, sir. <coughs> um, we'll need to go to the police station, so we'll sign some to take him before we can release her to you. No, no, no. <laughs> well, well, there's no need for that. I mean, I've proved it to you that uh, I I'm her father. Okay, what proof do you need? You've seen the pictures and my that's girl, my girl, over here. She my girl, my girl. He's absolutely right. Under the circumstances, that is the best thing to do. 
Thank you very much. Um, we need to do that to keep the record straight. Oh, um, all right, all right. Uh, we'll see. Once it's not going to take so much time and so much protocol. Oh, why? So if you're ready, we can go. Anything to come back. Okay, right. um, let's go. Mary, come on. Leave me alone. I don't know you. Jesus. She'll get up. It's okay. It's okay. Um, Mommy will be so glad to see you. Thank you, thank you. I don't know how to take it. It's okay, it's okay. No! No, mother! No! I have listened to you for far too long! No, more, mother! I have never had a say of my own! Yes! Because you chose to swallow me at every time and every discussion! Because of you, Evelyn almost died for a crime she didn't commit. Michael, Michael, I've said I'm sorry. I had no reason to hate Evelyn. It was just that I was just so possessive of you. And I couldn't stand the sight of another woman taking you away from me. What, what are you talking about? Mother, were you meant to marry me? You, you couldn't stand the sight of another woman taking me away from you? Look, didn't you expect that I was going to get married and have my own family? Huh? Because of you, I've never really been the man that I ought to be. For years, for years, mother, you have lived my life for me. But now I am saying no more. Michael, it's because I love you, Michael. Michael, remember how it was that I raised you all by myself after your father died? Hold, 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 hold it right here, mother. It was just the two of us. What? Just, just the two of us. What, 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 what do you, how do you define love? Huh? By leaving my life for me? Mother, if you truly loved me, you would have let me live my own life. In peace! But you must leave. Don't even start! Don't, 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 don't even start! So, now you're asking me to move out of my own house? Point of correction, Mother. My father's house. You have your own house. As a matter of fact, that house has been empty for years because you chose to abandon it and come here and make life unbearable for me. Because you never wanted to let me out of your sight. All because of your selfish end, mother. But now, you must leave this house because that's the only term for any discussion about forgiveness. Anytime I visit my clients, okay, I do not want to see my handcuffs. Okay, okay, take it easy. I'll do that. But I'm doing it as a privilege and not as a right. Okay? Um, thank you. What's going on? Why did they bring me out of prison and back here again? Mm. We have good news. Good news all the way. Um, your sister, Joe. That's her name. Okay. Um, oh, go to the most important news of all. Mary. Thank you. Okay. 
Maybe it has to be a farm. How is she? She's all right. She's okay. Yeah, she's hurt. I hope you didn't touch her. Well, that's... Um, she's all right. She's just a little... But she's okay. Um, Jobu, your twin sister, has been found and arrested. Apparently she worked for some cartel into child tra trafficking. So I quickly moved the motion for this trial. So we're back in court tomorrow. That is why you're here. So I'm sure... Can, we, every can I see her? Uh, my twin. Uh, June, whatever they call her. Can I see her? Okay. okay. Um, she's here. I'm sure that can be arranged. Please. Um, okay. Officer! Um, Excuse me, madam. It is a Mr. Duke out there wanting to see her. That will be her husband. Did he come with my daughter? Perhaps. He came with your little girl. That must be Mary. I guess. <laughs> mention you. They are not your parents. Look, our father is dead. Mother said you died at birth, but apparently you were stolen. Oh, I see. That explains what was going on in my life. All that molestation and mom. Forgive me. I'm sorry for whatever pain I must have caused you. I didn't mean to. It was not my intention at all. Um, I'll make it up to you, okay? I just hope it's not too late. You can start that fresh, Lucky. Like hey, Angel. Try to start for now. Just come along. Yes, but everything that's has happened had to thank God that yes. the, came, the truth came out at last. We thank God for that. 
But actually, Michael, we are, we are expected to be in court tomorrow morning. And it's already a win-win situation. I just want you all to appear in court as an African family that you are. Um, I want to dash out now to prepare for the case. So, take care. Please take care. See you tomorrow. Mike, you and I have a lot of talking to do. Okay. Believe me, I'm so ashamed of myself. I don't even know what to say. I know, I know you hate me so much. No, I don't hate you. I, I just expected more from you as my husband. Even if you didn't believe me, then you walked down was trust me. I trusted you. I believed you, Evelyn. I, I was just misled. My mother, she was... Yeah, I had it with your mother, all right? For now, I'm some things are going to have to change. Listen, just calm down, okay? All that has been taken care of. My mother is out of the picture for good. You will not see her again, in fact. She's on her own now, living her life. But me right now, it's just you, our own baby, Mary and I. It's not that simple. Michael, I almost lost my life because of you. I know, and, and, and believe me, I, was, I didn't want that to happen. I was so scared. I was, I was just praying that God would intervene in this way, and he did. For the sake of Mary, for the sake of your love for me, please. But I'll make it up. I swear I will make it up in every way I can. Please. 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 I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Trouble 